Apparently the sports weren't enough. Now they want to join sororities. That's right. They want to join sororities. The transgender females think that if Leah Thomas can swim with biological females, a transgender female can join a sorority. And you all know what a sorority is. All biological females. The University of Alabama student, his name is Grant Sykes, and he actually uses Grant Sykes. Maybe Grant can be used as a female name? I don't know. But anyways, Grant made application to all the sorority chapters on the campus of the, of the University of Alabama, all 20 of them, and was denied by all 20 chapters. And over the course of his journey to become a sorority member, he made a series of videos and posted it on TikTok. I want you to watch these videos and tell me what you think, and then I'll talk some more about it. Bama Rush, day one convocation in open houses today, and this is what I'm wearing. So the skirt is from Lulu. It's the new pink edition. My shoes are Air Force, of course. My shirt is from Shein. It's the really, really cute one that's like, everything's going to be okay. And my jewelry is from all over the place. Um, and yeah, and my hair and makeup is done by yours truly, so... Hey y'all, it's Grant. Today is day five of Alabama Rush, and it is the first day of Sisterhood Around. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Um, so I'm going to give you guys an OOTD. And yeah, so my shirt is, my dress is from Hello Molly. Thank you so much, Hello Molly. Love you. Hey y'all, it's Grant. Today is the last day of Sisterhood Rounds here at the University of Alabama. Um, it's primary recruitment, and so I don't have I need anywhere to go today, but I still wanted to do an OOTD because I already have everything picked out for every single day, and so everyone's schedules are different, and so that's just how it works. Hi guys, it's Grant. Today was prep round, and I got a phone call this morning, and I was cut. It is extremely upsetting, and I'm sad because I wanted to be a part of a sisterhood and more than that, a community. And you know, it's kind of just, I keep on waiting for my Rokai to call me and be like, just kidding, you could bring it on to bed day tomorrow because tomorrow's bed day. I don't even know what to say. Thank you all so much for following along. Um, here we are. Um, I posted a like thing on my Instagram talking a little bit more about you know, kind of what happened as of right now, um, you can click the hyperlink in my TikTok bio, or you can just look me up. It's Grant Eli Sykes, just my full name. Um, and yeah, so thank you for all the love and support. And again, that's Grant Sykes, who wanted to become, as he put it, part of the sisterhood, wanted to be in a sorority and do everything that the biological females do, whatever that may be, in a sorority. And you saw him, he was very enthusiastic, I wore special outfits for each phase of the process, and in the end, he was denied, and he's very sad about it. Well, quite frankly, I'm not sad at all, and I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, a sorority is for biological females, just like the women's swim team at the University of Pennsylvania is for biological females. I believe that Grant did this as a publicity stunt. He came up with an idea that he was going to make application to every sorority chapter on that campus knowing, knowing that he would be denied. A, he's a biological male, and B, it's the South. There was no way 
that these sororities were going to accept a biological male into their chapters. End of story, case closed. He did it knowing all of this. I don't deny he's a trans female. Look at him. Pretty, isn't he? <clears throat> this kind of stuff is just getting more and more and more. It's out there all the time. Why must they make a mockery, if you will, of a process that biological females go through to become part of a chapter? And again, I don't know the first thing about these sororities or frats, fraternities, but apparently they got to pay money also to be a member of them. So most of these girls, I think, and men, boys, men, women, come from money so they can afford to pay to belong to these groups. That's what I read anyways. I don't really care. They do it for attention. They do it to get their name out there. And he got his name out there. The TikTok video alone got millions of views. Okay. Apparently he put it on his Instagram. I didn't look at it. I don't care to look at it. Did it. He did it for publicity as far as I'm concerned. Because again, he wanted to be part of the sisterhood. Are you fucking kidding me right now? He knew it wasn't going to happen, but he had to give it a shot because that was his time to shine. He was going to put on the outfits and the makeup and do whatever it took to get involved and hopefully be accepted. It was nothing more than, look at me, this is what I do, I want to be famous and I don't have any other way of doing it. So I'm going to pretend that I want to join a sorority and they're all going to deny me. But I'm going to post these videos to social media and to so many bleeding hearts out there that they're going to embrace me and I'm going to be a star. If it works, good for him. If it doesn't, I told you so. You shouldn't have done it in the first place because this kind of shit has no place in a college, in a place where men go to fraternities, women go to sororities. I guess they don't have transgender chapters. Well, maybe they should, because I'm quite certain that Grant isn't the only transgender female who wants to join a chapter. Just like Leah Thomas, they should have sports for transgender athletes. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem if you're transgender. But you don't belong in this group with all biological females. And if you're a female and you want to be a dude, you don't belong in a fraternity with all biological males. It goes against the grain of everything that I believe in. And I've said this 10 million times probably. I don't give a shit what people do. He knew, he absolutely knew that this was not going to happen they were not going to accept him into their chapters, but he did it anyways. So I'm sure all the females went along with it and let him participate in whatever the hell it was they had to do. And in the end, they had to tell him, sorry, dude, can't have you. This is for women only. He's not a woman. He'll never be a woman. He'll never be able to have children. So he'll always be a biological male whether he likes it or not or chooses to believe that that's reality that's science that's how it works so if Grant wants to be part of a chapter maybe he can use all his enthusiasm and put one together on the campus because there's got to be more than one transgender person in the entire University of Alabama I'm pretty sure they'd be happy to join a community where they all fit in and they're all welcome. And while they're at it, maybe they can go find a Dairy Queen in Alabama and they can get rainbow sprinkles on their ice cream. Because like I said last night, they did away with the chocolate sprinkles. 
I just had to throw that in because it fit with this video. This kind of shit is never going to go away. I don't know what's going to be next. I really don't. Is a transgender male going to want to join a, a college hockey team, like a big college hockey team or a big college football program? Probably. And they'll get destroyed and then they'll complain. Complain about what? You don't belong there. You belong with your group of people because that's what you all choose to do. It's not wrong. It's not right. Whatever you feel you need to do, whatever makes you comfortable or makes you feel like you, they like to say that, go ahead and knock yourself out and do it. I'm not sad that Grant didn't get accepted, and I'm pretty sure that every other biological female in those chapters and probably their parents aren't sad either because he didn't belong there. And again, I think it was a publicity stunt. He did it for attention, and now he's getting the attention he wanted. So maybe he'll be a star, maybe he won't, maybe his star will just burn out in a few days. But it is what it is. Do what you do, but don't try to infiltrate a group where you know you don't belong. It was never going to happen. And you know, I hate to say this, but someday it probably will, even in the South, because the administrators will start taking the heat and they'll cave to the pressure and they'll tell the sororities, listen, you need to let the dudes join. Some of them are prettier than some of the girls in the sorority, so you got to cut them some slack and you got to give them a spot in the sorority. Who knows? It could happen. I actually could see it happening with the way we're going as a country. And that's it. Let me know what you think about it. Drop a comment. If you haven't liked this video, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Share my videos, if you will. I hope everybody's healthy and safe. And I'll see you soon with something else to uh, rant about. Have a great night.